you are doing great today. If you don't know me, my name is Areli, and today I am going to show you three beautiful DIY projects inspired in unicorns. Yes, I know everyone has been obsessed with unicorns lately, so I thought it would be a great idea to show you some projects where you can incorporate unicorns. So before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet. You can hit that red button that is down below that says subscribe and make sure to activate the bell of notification so you can know every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's start with these three beautiful unicorn inspired DIYs. First, unicorn inspired idea, we will make a beautiful tiara and to make it we will need white, pink, green and gold foamy, a headband, flowers of your preference, in case you don't find gold foamy we will need gold sequins to decorate, pen and scissors and a hot glue gun. First, we take our white foamy and using the headband as a guide we draw the ears and cut them. You can draw one of them and then use it as a guide to do the other one so they are even. Then we take the ears as a guide and with our pink foamy we draw the inside of the ears and cut them as well. When we have both figures we join them together with hot glue and once they're ready we glue them to the tiara with a lot of hot glue making sure they are well secured. To create the horn, we take our gold foamy, or if you cannot find it, you can use any other foamy and then decorate it. We take it by one of the corners and begin to roll it up to create a cone. We glue the ends, securing it very well with lots of hot glue, and then we make sure the size is right for our headband, and we cut the excess. Afterwards, if necessary, we can decorate the horn with sequins by gluing them on a spiral motion and once it's ready, we glue it to our tiara with a lot of hot glue until we have something like this. To decorate it, we can create some leaves with our green foamy, drawing them of the desired size and shape and cutting them to then glue them to either end of our headband as shown. As a final touch, we can decorate it with the flowers of your choice, making sure to cover the base of the ears and the horn, and our unicorn tiara is ready. This idea is super cute for costumes, birthdays, or simply because the result is absolutely adorable. For our second idea, we will make a beautiful container decorated with a unicorn inspired design and for this we will need a pot, jar or container of your choice. I previously painted my container white. Pink, white, black and gold foamy, flowers of your preference. Once again, if you do not find gold foamy, we will use sequins to decorate and a hot glue gun. As I said before, in this case I will use a pot and I have previously painted it white. But you can also use a jar or any container of your choice and you can also paint it to make it look more beautiful. We take our white foamy and using our container as a guide, we draw the ears of our unicorn as we did with the tiara. We cut the ears and once they are ready, we use them as a guide to create the inside with our pink foamy and then we cut them. We join both figures with hot glue and then we glue them to the top of our container as shown. As an option, once again, we can create leaves with green foamy to decorate, drawing them and cutting them as we did before. If you can find gold foamy, all you have to do is cut a triangle to create the horn, making sure the size is proportional to the size of your container. But if you cannot get metallic foamy, what you can do is decorate it like I did by gluing golden sequins all over the front until it's covered completely. For some reason, the video where I made the eyelashes was deleted, but to make them we simply create a half moon shape in our black foamy and create the little eyelashes trying to make them as even as possible and we cut them. Once all our figures are ready, we glue them to our container, first gluing the horn between the ears, 
then the eyes, then the flowers, and finally the leaves to add a touch of color, and our unicorn container is ready. In this case, mine is a pot, so you can use it to put real or fake plants. You can also use it for pencils, pens or colors, and even if you use a jar, it will be perfect to hold all your makeup brushes, and there's a thousand more uses you can give to it, but in any case, the result will be absolutely divine. idea we will make a beautiful unicorn sleep mask and for that we will need white blue black and pink felt a little bit of elastic flowers of your preference gold sequins pen and scissors white thread and needle and a hot glue gun the first thing we will do is a template for which we will need to measure the distance between our two temples for the width and approximately one centimeter above the eyebrows to the cheekbones for the height. We take these measurements and we draw a rectangle and inside this we draw the shape of our mask, not forgetting to create the bridge for the nose and to add the little ears and the horn of our unicorn. To make it even, I did it on a folded sheet of paper and once our template is ready, we cut it and you can measure it on your face and make any adjustments if necessary. Once you are happy with your template, we take our white felt, fold it in half, and with the folded template, we draw the outline of it on our felt and cut it, repeating this process once more until we have two equal masks. To decorate our mask, we will cut two small triangles of our pink felt to create the internal parts of the ears. With blue felt, we can create a figure similar to this one to simulate the hair. And with the black felt, we create the half moon little eyelashes of our unicorn. We measure our elastic making sure it is the right size of our head and this shouldn't be too tight or too loose. Then we take one of our masks and we sew one of the ends of the elastic with thread and needle to one of the sides of the mask, securing it very well. We repeat this process for the other end of the elastic, making sure the elastic is not twisted until we have something like this. Afterwards, we will sew the two masks together with thread and needle and here you can make whatever stitch you prefer going all around the mask, making sure that it looks even, that the two figures are aligned and that the elastic ends we secure before end up inside of the two fabrics. If you don't want to sew it, you can also try to close it with hot glue, but this may cause the edges of your mask being a little stiff. Once the two pieces are joined together, we will end up with something like this and then we can proceed to decorate it by first gluing the pink triangles in the center of the ears then we decorate the horn with our golden sequins, making sure to cover it completely then we glued the hair in the center of the unicorn's face we glued the little eyes to simulate that it's sleeping and as a final touch, we glue the flowers to the base of the little horn and our beautiful unicorn sleeping mask is ready. This option is beautiful to use every night to sleep or you can also use it for your traveling adventures and not only you will look fabulous, but I promise you, you will love it. And with these easy steps, you can make these three beautiful ideas inspired by unicorns and as you can see, the result is super cute. So, let me know in the comments which of these ideas was your favorite. So that is it for these three projects. I hope you liked them and I hope you enjoyed them. These are great ideas if you have girls at home or if you simply want to put a little bit of sparkle and some original pieces in some of your spaces. So I hope this video was very helpful. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button and once again, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you get notified every time I upload a new video. For me, it was a pleasure being here with you today and I will see you next time. Bye!